Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Iris Recognition using Combined Support Vector Machine and Hamming Distance Approach Now we discuss the abstract for the process Individual recognition using Iris is most commonly employed in all the places In the proposed approach, the process of recognition of the persons based on Iris image is employed the recognition of iris is done based on the dwt feature extraction from iris image the extracted features were optimized by the genetic algorithm if the optimization is necessary for the process means the ga is applied otherwise we need not to apply the ga the optimized features are then undergone for the matching process based on the equivalent distance measurements as well as here the SVM is applied to classify the person is authenticated or not. Before the extraction of the features, pre-processing in the iris image were employed based on the smoothening process and the edge reduction process. In the smoothening and edge directions, the noise removal and the iris extraction will be carried out. The process of application of the optimized techniques helps in the reduction of feature counting. The performance of the process is measured based on the performance matrix. Here the 512 features is extracted so we need not to apply the optimization method. Hence the classification is done by the two type of classification based on the first one is the Euclidean then the second one is the SVM. Now we discuss the flow diagram for the process. This is the overall flow structure for the process. At first the input image 1 and the 2 is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the folder which consists of the several input images. After getting the input image 1 and 2, the pre-processing is carried out. In this pre-processing steps, whether the resize is necessary means the resize will be applied and then the edge deduction is applied to deduct the edge of the iris will be deducted. After the edge deductions, the iris and the pupil deduction is carried out. Here the segmentation also will be carried out. When I extract the iris and the pupil, the iris and pupil regions will be circulated by the circular transform. After the circular half transform, the wavelet feature is extracted by using the DWT. After the wavelet feature is extracted, the wavelet features are undergone for and the Gaber feature are also extracted from the image. After the extraction of the Gaber and the wavelet feature, the classification module will be done. In this classification module, we have the two type of classification. The first one is the distance based classification. Then the second one is the SVM classification. By these two type of classification method, the similarity of the matching points is calculated and hence if the similarity of the matching points is low means the iris will be matched. Otherwise, the similarity of the iris is maximum means sorry the similarity of the matching points will be more means the iris will not be matched now we discuss the initial running procedure for the process at first open the matlab 2013 and change the current directory if you want to execute the code means just right click in the main underscore gui dot m file and select the option run Now the initial GUI design was opened in that several push buttons in the le left side to perform the actions and the two axes in the right side to display the images. At first click the button input image 1. When I click the button input image 1 the dataset was opened. This dataset you can select any one image from the dataset and then the selected image is shown in the axis 1 with the title input image. After selecting the input image 1, now click the button input image 2. Simultaneously select the input image 2. Now the selected input image 2 is shown in the axis 2. 
now click the button deduction after clicking the button deduction the process will be done automatically for the resize and smoothening the resize and smoothening is done for the both the input image and the input out input image too now the resized image is shown in this figure as well as the this figure denotes the smoothened image for the input image 1 then the resized image 2 and the smoothened image 2 will be also displayed now the zigzag transformation for the input image 1 is shown here and the zigzag transformation for the input image 2 is shown here if the circular transform is not available means just go to the circular now run the circular this is the circular half transform result moreover then click the button feature extraction after clicking the button the feature value is extracted from the figure 1 and the figure 2 these features are displayed in the table 1 and the table 2 there are 5 12 features are extracted from the figure 1 and the 5 12 features are extracted from the figure 12 then the matching process is done here the matching results for the distance based classification and the SVM based classification is shown. Then the performance is estimated. The performance is estimated for the FAR, FRR, TSR, EER etc. These are plotted in the graph format.